and you can see right here that it is um, at www.digo.com and I just want to show you the, the website here. You would click on create your free account, download it, and set it up, follow it very easily. I'm not going to go through the steps of that because you can do it yourself. But I'm going to show you what it does now by going to this uh, history website that I'm using instead of a textbook in my class because students can use this very well and I can do things with it. So can they with Digo. So mm, you see that this is a lecture on the French Revolution, the first stage. And um, instead of your 50 pound textbook, this is probably three or four pages of reading with nice little links, as you can see, to um, different websites. You want to learn about the Fall of Bastille, so much better than, than a traditional textbook. Students can print this out and write on it, which is another uh, advantage over a traditional textbook. So getting back to the question of what can we do with Digo, Digo is called a social annotation um, tool. By annotation, that means that you can actually annotate websites, just like you annotate books by writing in the margins. You can highlight and annotate websites. So again, people say, oh, you can't use websites because you can't write on them. Well, now you can for free. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to highlight something on Digo, using Digo. So say that, um, that I want to focus on this section right here, Louis the Sixteenth's letter um, during to the Estates General during the French Revolution. So I want to highlight this. Notice when I highlight it, this pop-up box comes up and there's Digo. It gives me the choice of uh, highlighting. So I'm going to highlight. And you see that the text has changed. Now when I hover over it, watch, when I hover over it, you see that this little Digo mark comes up again. And it gives me the option to add sticky notes. So you see that we have already highlighted just by uh, highlighting it with the mouse and then clicking highlight from the pop-up. Now you can add sticky notes. That's the annotation part. So I'm going to click add sticky notes. Sticky notes are what they call annotation. And here's my annotation box. So let me see. Um, let's say that I want to focus on some vocab here. Uh, students don't know the word subject that Louis uses right here, subjects, in the political sense. They know it in the grammatical sense and in the general sense, but subject meaning um, person under the king's authority, they don't know that. So I'm taking notes for vocab right here. Subject to the... Uh, And let's see, grievances is another word that I might want to, um, to use to teach them. So you get the idea. You see that I have typed my annotations right there. You see that if I want to um, change the text, I can bold print it, I can italicize, I can underline, I can even take notes, just to pretend that I'm taking notes here. Uh, focus questions. And now I'm going to put them in numbered form. What was Louis's main purpose in this quote? Second question. What did Louis refuse to mention in, in this quote. For example, you get the idea. So now I'm going to submit it, and uh, that means that this annotation is saved on online. So now, look what happens. I go to, any time that I hover over something that I bookmarked, you see that the annotation, the sticky note, has popped up right there. I'm going to go to a page that I did um, a minute ago and show you that one.
Okay, this one's about the the causes, origins of the French Revolution. So you can see I've already highlighted that. I hover over it, and here are my notes about it. Now I can go to my computer at school. I'm at home right now using my laptop, but I can go to my computer at school and go to my Digo website and see all of that there. And then I can project that onto the screen. So um, I'll show you how to do that right now. I'm going to my Digo website. And you will see that all of the websites that I have bookmarked are online on Digo. This is my page. You see, there I am right there. And um, here is the, the last two pages that I've bookmarked. Now watch. You see this column here that says expand all or expand by, by each page? This is the one that I just did as a model. So now, when I click on expand right here, it's going to show the annotations. This is my highlight right here. This is the, the text that I highlighted. And then here's my little sticky note with the vocab and the focus questions. I can collapse that. Now I'm going to do it for the, the website that I really did work on before deciding to make this little uh, demonstration. So I just expanded it. So here are all of the, the different highlights and notes that I made to my highlights. There's the highlight, and here's my sticky notes. So you get the idea, I hope. Um, in interest of saving time, I guess I will stop right now. But again, Digo at www.digo.com, free download. And um, it puts all of the websites that you want to use for your class online as bookmarks. No longer are bookmarks on your computer. They're now online, stored for you anywhere you go. You can find them, not just your home computer or your school computer. And it shows you your, uh, your highlights and your annotations. So we no longer need pen and paper textbooks because we have the website. We can teach this to our students, too, for, um, for research, but that's a, different, that's a different story. I hope you can see how this could be used by students for research beautifully. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Thanks a lot.